Well, I'm away off here now on uh, the Ring of Kerry. It's uh, just gone 10 minutes to 10 in the morning here on a Wednesday morning, September the 16th. And it's a bit overcast. I see clouds lying on top, on top of the mountains here, but um, yeah, so this is my first time ever doing the Ring of Kerry. So I think it's 111 miles around. So uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I really am. Famous Glen Eagle Hotel in there. That's the um, the Tork T O R C waterfall. It's not exactly Niagara Falls, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Right, that's the Tork waterfall done and dusted. Now on to the next uh, viewing point, which is Ladies View, I think, on the Ring of Kerry. This is just great start to the day altogether. Brilliant. I'm only bit, not even 10 miles done yet and I'm getting views like this, it's amazing. Oh wow, this is just going to be epic I think. Epic. No wonder uh, Kerry is so popular with the tourists, I can see why. It's just amazing. So this here is Ladies View. This is looking back towards uh, Killarney Town. And I'm in uh, Killarney National Park right now. And how it, how it got its name, Ladies View, is because of Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria used to come and stay here. Uh, I think maybe it was in Muckross House, I'm not too sure. But anyway, her ladies in waiting, um, they obviously must have came up here and probably picnicked and they were um, enthralled by the view, you know. And so that's how it got its nickname from Queen Victoria's ladies in waiting so that's how it got its nickname ladies view pretty nice i'm probably not picking it up here on the gopro because i can't zoom in but it's lovely mountains on each side and two lakes down here just, just, just like I think this is um, Moll's Gap here that I'm at. Um, as you can see, the Evoca shop here is closed because of the COVID-19. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to continue on towards Kenmare, which is that way there, 10 kilometers, or go along uh, the Black Valley, it's called, towards Schneem, S-N-E-E-M. Now, I can get to Schneem from, um, from this way as well. But I'm just thinking I'll skip Ken Mare maybe and go along the Black Valley. This Black Valley just gets better and better. Um, it's beyond my expectations. It's absolutely beautiful. I can see now why Kerry and the Ring of Kerry and Killarney and Dingle and all them all them name places in um, Kerry um, why the tourists flock here in their droves it's absolutely stunning beautiful scenery all around so I'm still I'm heading now towards Sneem it's called S-N-E-E-M a little town and uh, that's also on the ring of Kerry and I don't think I've gone very far 20 miles maybe I don't know but I have about 90 miles to, to go still so I better crack on but I'm enjoying every minute of it this is the pancake cafe
Hi. Could you just have a seat for one, please? Of course, would you like inside or outside? Um, I'll stay in here. than a teapot. So I'm going to pour it into my little cup. A bit watery. Then I give it a stir. Beautiful, beautiful. The honey is gorgeous. Little cup of tea. Cheers, people. Well, that was fairly enjoyable. Um, check this place out. It's called um, the Strawberry Field, okay, cafe, um, and it specialises in pancakes. So I got a lemon and honey pancake and a pot of tea there and I only came to six euros, I don't know, 20 or 30 cents. So um, yeah, so th this is on, on, the, on, the, on the road from Moll's Gap to Sneem through the Black Valley. Well worth a, a visit. Very, very nice indeed. I don't know if the GoPro is doing this view justice because I can't zoom in. Oh, this valley here is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's now um, just gone a quarter past one. I just keep stopping because of, because of, because of the viewpoints along the way. Mad. Now in the little village of Sneem on Ingle Kerry, another picturesque uh, tourist type village. Lovely colours on the houses and restaurants and cafes. You won't go hungry here anyway because there are plenty of cafes here. Excellent. So this is a modern sculptor here, I presume in Schneem. I don't know what it represents, but to my eye, it looks shit. Absolutely shit. Well, John, how's it going? I heard you were a great footballer in your day. You won six All-Ireland medals and five All-Star awards. Well, you're some boy. Good man yourself, John. See, catch you later, right? Catch you later. This is a statue to a guy I never heard of in my life called Steve Crusher Casey. He was a world champion wrestler. Uh, he was born uh, 1938 to 1947. He was born in 1901 and he died in 1987 and he was a world champion wrestler. Never heard of him in my life. This is in Sneem, so he must be in the local up here. Sneem in... Um, Kerry. Right, I'm going to move on again because um, 
I have a long way, a, lots of miles to cover yet, so I'll make tracks again along Ring and Kerry. I think I've stopped in a place here called <coughs> Derry Nan or Derry, Derry Nain. Probably I'm pronouncing this completely wrong. I don't see a sign here at the minute, but I'm just having a little uh, rest here because it's uh, very warm in the car, very humid today, but it's a nice breeze when you get out of the car and just start walking around. Very good. So there's a there's a, a pub or a place to eat down here called the Blind Piper. Blind Piper there. And here's a place here that has starting to roof is starting to rust on the house and what is this now say here Irish Republican personnel secretary to Eamon de Valera teacher of Ireland wow in this house was born and reared Kathleen O'Connor 1886 to 1956 Irish Republican Personal Secretary to Eamon de Valera, Taoiseach and President of Ireland. Wow. So she lived in there. The old post box. There's the Kerry Way and the Kerry Way. So it obviously goes through this way here. Kerry Way. It's over, it's well over a hundred miles to Kerry Way. Yeah, so it's called Derry Nain, D-E-R-R-Y-N-A-N-E. -E. Very, very small little village on the ring, ring of Kerry. Just see a little old Massey Ferguson tractor in here. Just looking out of here, I wonder can I go in, look at it. Looks like a little farmyard here. Wow, that's an old tractor. Little decrepit little Massey Ferguson 135. Look at this rusting away there. See the rust in it, look. It's probably not in use anymore. It's a pity. Spare wheel. Wow. Trailer. Yep. Yeah. I don't think that the GoPro is picking this up here because the sun is directly right over there, right? And it's just lush green pasture out towards the the sea here which is the Atlantic Ocean and I just know that the GoPro just can't pick that up which is a pity because it's absolutely beautiful beautiful another fantastic view down there see the see the clouds just sitting on top of the, the mountain just here and it's a bit more breezy because we're up a little bit higher here um, I don't know. I, I don't know what bay that is there, but um, I know I'm heading for Waterville town. So this is the village or town of Waterville um, on the Ring of Kerry in Kerry, and. Over the, the bay here is the Dingle Peninsula. It's covered mainly in clouds at the minute, but that's Dingle, and that is, a, I've been there twice, and that is absolutely stunning scenery over there as well. Um, this little town, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't call it fantastic, but here's a, here's a, a, a thing that I, I, did, I didn't know about it, is that Charlie Chaplin stayed here, um, and there's a statue over here to Charlie Chaplin, so I'm gonna go over and have a look at the statue, and take a picture so that's I don't know that's useless information but there you go right so this is Waterville um, of all the little villages that I've gone through so far on the Ring of Kerry I'd say this has not impressed me as much as the rest of them I don't know I, I just find it a bit boring very very clean and but there's nothing much here in Waterville I don't know why Charlie Chaplin stayed here. Maybe it was for the peace and quiet, but um, he would have seen a lot more scenery if he went up, you know, back up the way up and after coming there up by Schneem and, you know, from Schneem towards Waterville, it's lovely. 
and through the mountains but maybe he just wanted uh, peace and quiet they said that he used to walk up and down along, along the seafront there but I don't know if he had Irish um, family living here or something but I don't know why he chose here because I wouldn't <laughs> Ten past five, my friends, and it's slashing rain here on the Ring of Kerry. And the national forecast was saying that we were to ha have a Indian summer all over Ireland. Obviously not down here on the Ring of Kerry. Yeah, so it's slashing rain here along the coast. I think I'm looking out towards um, Dingle Bay there. Um, and I noticed here that it's obviously all the locals they must be coming home from work now and they're up behind you real real fast and they're trying to overtake you so I, I just pull in whenever I can and let them um, fly ahead because they know these roads better than I do and, and, I, and I am not going to go flying around corners I don't know what's the point yeah so it's raining on, on, on the ring of Kerry Feel a bit tired now, a little bit tired, but I'm after buying um, a chicken salad roll there, so I'll have that later on. Anyway, I better keep going. Another beautiful mountain backdrop here, and a river down below me here. Um, I'm not too far now from Kilorgan, so I don't think I'm. I'm, I'm probably more than three quarter ways round the Ring of Kerry, and it's now. 25 to 6 in the evening time so yeah uh, what can I say I think I think the view speaks for itself doesn't it so yeah I'm I'm heading back to the hotel now to have my tea so um, that's it my friends that's it well I didn't finish off yesterday on the Ring of Kerry because I was coming into Killarney town and the traffic was a bit bedlam. They must have been coming home from work. So um, that was the Ring of Kerry and I'll see us all in the next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>